What's going on, dudes? Wick Nudley here, bringing you a quick little build info. Uh, early on in the Void, or sorry, Solar 3.0, I kind of found myself in this weird spot where I just wasn't feeling any of the builds. Um, I did my best to make something that I thought was viable, you know, uh, given the mods that I knew, what was considered to be the meta, and I tried a few of the initial ones, and it just wasn't feeling good to me. Um, so I watched a couple more, um, uh, build videos on YouTube from a couple different dudes and, um, I still kind of disagreed with how they did it, but I did watch one. I don't know the guy's name off the top of my head, so I'm sorry if it's you, but I saw one that utilized the assassin's cowl. And what that basically means is, is your powered melee and finishers grant invisibility and healing. Um. And that gives you kind of a synergy with what's happening with the uh, Solar 3.0 right now as far as restoration, radiance, and, and that whole deal. But for people that really love the whole sneaky little ninja stuff that Void gave us, it gives you a taste of that. You know, a little bit of a, you know, an appetizer, but you still get to sample the rest of everything that um, Solar 3.0 has to offer. So, um this is a new build for me, so it's not even maxed out uh, to its fullest potential. But basically, the build surrounds your assassin's cowl. So um, when you go into your uh, to your solo 3.0, you use blade barrage, which is incredibly pow powerful this time around with the recent buff it got. And I like to use knife trick, and uh, the build itself kind of surrounds that as well. Um, I go on to on your mark. Uh, precision final blows blah blah you can read i'm not going to read for you i won't insult you and knock them down then we go into our fragments and we got beams searing wonder torches and solace they're all not that critical i think it can kind of ebb and flow with your play style and what you like to do but the basic meat and potatoes of this build is you know for long story short is you're just chucking knives and getting radiant in healing the entire time uh oh, i forgot to mention having the gambler's dodge which i plan on using the acrobat dodge because that's you know um, a lot of people are using that now with making you and your allies radiant but you don't really need that with this one and with the gambler's dodge if you look right at the bottom um if you dodge near enemies you basically get your knife throw back so let's just say you're chaining knife throws, knife throws, knife throws. You miss one, just dodge one time to get your knife throw back. And uh, to work with that synergy, I'm running Melee, melee Wellmaker, of course, to spawn those solar wells. And then on top of that, I'm using Well of Life, which I may cancel out once I get Classy Restoration. This is still a build in the making. Um, or for, the, for the time being, every time you chuck, chuck a knife at someone's face, you're getting a solar well. Uh, on top of that, I love using swords, dude. So I just run Loose and Blade, and I mix that with the Elemental Charge to get that benefit. And then my um, class item is actually empty. I'm just saving it. That way I don't use or allocate resources towards something after the fact. So this is where uh, the restore the classy... Um, What's it called? Uh, yeah, Classy Restoration is going to go once I unlock that. I may find that Well of Life needs to disappear after the fact because it's almost redundant. Um, but until then, this is what I'm running. And with this build, um, it's fun. It's dynamic. You're going invisible. And um, I think the invisible thing kind of gets a bad rap of where I guess you could use it one of two ways. One, you go invisible because you don't want to die and you, maybe what your the activity you're playing is a little above your level so you go invisible and hide in a corner and s hope you survive or uh on my end um i like to go invisible to res people to be a helper um which is typically situated more towards warlock builds with healing grenades and wells and rifts and and that whole deal but um i don't like how warlocks play i have a warlock character it's not my thing. I use them when I have to. Um, so this kind of gives you a little sampling of everything. And I just really enjoy it. Um, it's debatable whether or not this is endgame 
content viable or not. I don't know. We're not even in end game yet. Uh, we won't be able to do a Grandmaster until a month from now. Um, so for the time being, this is what I'm going to use, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, super fun, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So feel free to use it, and uh, if not, call a junk. I don't care. Have a good day.